Now, the Philippines has declared a national public health emergency to contain the spread of the virus. President Rodrigo Duterte has signed the order after the first case of local transmission was confirmed over the weekend. In San Juan City, all schools have been ordered to shut with sanitation and disinfection efforts underway. Bernard Bernal explains how the emergency declaration will help. Number one, it allows the Trade and Industry Department to impose price freezes on essential items. Number two, it allows local governments expedited access to funds to assist them in the containment efforts. Number three, it allows the Health Department to mandate reporting from private hospitals. And finally, number four, it allows the government to streamline the procurement process, typically a long and tedious process for essential items, while code red sub Level 1 was announced over the weekend due to the confirmation of COVID-19's local transmission. There is still no sustained community transmission of COVID-19 in the Philippines, meaning there's still no multiple clusters of uh, this uh, virus in the community. The government has drawn flag over issues of transparency uh, on the numbers it has been reporting of confirmed cases, as well as in terms of the Philippines' testing capacity. Now, the challenge uh, for the Philippines is enforcing that top-bottom approach in terms of its health protocols.